Welcome back to another Mr. L video. Let's get into it. This week's video is all about catching. Now, there are gonna be different ways that you might have to use your body to catch an object based on how big or how heavy that object might be. And we'll go over some different adaptations with your hands and arms that you can do to help yourself catch an object. All right, let's get into it. Some helpful hints when you're trying to catch a ball is I always like to say, if the ball is above your belly button, your fingers are up. If the ball is below your belly button, your fingers are pointed down. Now you're gonna have to change that quickly if the ball changes from high to low quickly. But again, that kind of helps you with being able to grab the ball. You also wanna be able to cushion it in. As it's coming to you, cushion it in. And then your hands, I want you to pretend they're claws and they trap that ball, okay? We wanna kind of keep our hands close Okay, we don't want to leave a big hole in between because guess where that ball is going to go? Right between your arms. So make sure you keep your hands close so that way when you trap that ball, it stays inside. Okay, let's watch some video. All right, here's a video of two adults throwing and catching. Now if you notice, when that ball is thrown above their belly button, where are their fingers pointed? Up. Okay. They're doing a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the same area, so there's not really a lot of adaptations, but every once in a while, you'll see them bend a little lower to make sure they get their body in position. They're always cushioning that ball. Here's a kid catching a bigger ball. Now, what, what do you notice that's different? They're using their arms and they're trying to trap it with their body, and sometimes that doesn't work and you get hit in the face, just like that. Sometimes that hurts, but hopefully you're playing with a little softer ball. Now here's another girl, this is a beginner, and sometimes that might work for you is being able to trap it against your body and practice with that, okay? So again, different ways that you can do it based on what size of a ball and if you're used to catching or not. I would suggest even throwing up a scarf or a napkin, something that floats in the air if you're a beginner, and just try and catch it as it's coming down, okay? Practicing that eye-hand coordination it's gonna help you become a better catcher, okay? So go out there and try it out. Either throw up a few napkins or make a ball of socks, or if you have a nice little ball, you can try catching it too. Now we also have a bonus video for today. It's really important for students to be able to do, especially at an early age. If this is something that you really haven't done a whole lot of, especially if you're in kindergarten or first grade, you might wanna start practicing. And this is the perfect video for you to watch and for you to learn. And it's tying your shoes. Now you're gonna see that the girl here is showing you, it's probably around kindergarten, maybe she's in first grade. Follow along, grab a shoe, that's untied, this is someone your age or younger. So if you get frustrated at all, remember just to keep trying again, okay? Hey guys, what's up, Mini Gang? So today, I'm gonna be showing you, can you guess? Yup, I'm gonna be showing you how to tie your own shoe. Last time I was learning how to tie my shoe, I didn't get it, but all you just gonna do Keep trying, and then you'll get it all right. So I'm gonna be showing you how to tie your own suit by using my great new colors. I actually have never worn these, guys. So look at that. So learning how to tie your suit is gonna be pretty difficult the first time. And then when you keep on practicing and practicing and practicing and not quitting, Eventually, you'll get it all right. And then you can walk outside, and if your shoelaces come off, you could tie them. So I learned how to tie my suit from my dad, because my dad taught me because 
My parents don't like when they have to tie my shoe because when I'm going to school, I ask when it's like a sunny day, I ask my mom or dad if I could wear my black Nikes. And they say, no, you can't because you need to learn how to tie your shoe. And when my dad was teaching me, at first it was a little bit hard. I kept on trying. I tried like a lot of times. And then soon I got it all right. And then I was proud of myself. I was like, yes. Oh, and guys, comment down below and let me know if you like to tie your suit because I'm going to give this video a big thumbs up. Because even though I'm doing the video, but I'm just going to give myself, let me just say someone else is doing this video and I'm going to give it a thumbs up because I love to tie my suit. And yes, yeah, so I have these Converse too. So I'm going to be showing you how to tie your own suit because I already know so so first you're gonna have to learn from your left and from your right foot okay guys because if you don't you're gonna be walking around a school wherever you're going people are gonna look at you having the wrong suit sometimes I do that my mom takes my suit before I leave so guys if you don't see inside every single sneaker or that has shoelace, a suit that has shoelaces, it has this. So you're gonna match your foot to your suit. Because if, see look, look at the angle. It's going up. So the shoes have to go to the same angle as my foot. All right, so let's try this one. Because maybe not this one because it doesn't have an angle. Look at this one. It's like this. So this one's the same as, it's, look, it's going whoopsie daisies, then going down. So that's like the same one. And then this one looks like it's the same. Whoop. And when you get your foot in, pull your tongue up and out. So I'm pulling my tongue. Tongue up. Make sure your shoe is fine. All right, so now you can take two of your shoelaces and they're the same size. So first, you're gonna crisscross your laces. Then we're gonna crisscross your laces. Good. Now you're gonna put the little one under and cross good so you can tighten it. Don't flop it on the ground. Keep it like this so it can be tight. All right, so now you're gonna do a little hoop as your bunny ear. And then you're gonna take this one right here and wrap it around your fingers. See, I brought it to here. And I wrapped it around my finger. Now wrap it around your finger. Then put this in the middle and put it around. And grab this and pull. So you're gonna pour laces like that, which it already did. Now you're gonna make an X. Then you're gonna put the lace, the biggest lace inside. Now you're going to take this one, drop this lace, and then take this lace, then wrap it around, and then make some room, more room. Take this, move your finger gently. Ooh, why did I do that?
So now, I'm going to teach you one more time, step by step. Alright guys, so let's untie my suit. Uh -oh. I got a knot. That's okay. I took this. See my strategy? And guys, if you get frustrated, do this. Get your tape, kind of like a bow, and... So first, I'm gonna cross my laces like this. See guys? Then you're gonna put this one under and cross like this. Oh, and two, when you like do a loop, leave a little bit of room. Just let it go down. And But you still need to make a loop. All right, I got a tail hanging. Right there, my old tail of a bow. Then take this here, my pants. Take it off the wall. Well, it's not a wall, it's my pants, I'm just saying. And then wrap it around my fingers. And take this, put it in the middle, under that, and pull. Alright guys, you did a great job at suit tying time. I hope this video helped you learn how to tie your own suit. But if it didn't, just rewind the video all the way to the beginning. And then you know how to tie your suit. Don't give up guys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep trying. Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep trying. Oh, and guys, give this video a big thumbs up. And I'm being so good in school. All right, guys, be good in school, too. Have a good weekend. Well, hopefully you liked both of those videos. Until next time.